Hi everybody, it's Amy from the Hudson Valley Knits podcast. Um, this is not a podcast, actually, it's just a short little video where I document some, or uh, yeah, document some sweater surgery that I did. Uh, basically, I recently completed a sweater of my own design. I if it was actually part of, if you've been watching my podcast, you'll know it's a part of the Shirley Patton uh, design along. It's the fifth design along she's hosted. And she really um, goes into great detail and, and works with you to design and knit your very own sweater. Um, what happened was in the course of designing my sweater, and I think... In the episode 70, I kind of talk about that. Uh, I, I neglected to account for the dropped shoulder and also had, uh, a, over the course of knitting my sweater, my gauge had changed slightly enough that it made a, an, an additional uh, difference of a few inches. It also, my sweater was also... Um, my sleeve was also a little too tight in circumference. I wanted it to be a little looser. So I, it's three separate videos that I put into one where you can see me do the sweater surgery. Now it's not uh, meant, this this video is not meant to teach you. I, I actually used um, a craftsy video by Carol Feller to help me with this before I um, did my surgery. It's a great class and I highly recommend it. I think it's called sweater surgery. Um, it's really just to encourage you. So if you have a similar project, if you've knit a sweater and it's not perfect, don't you don't have to rip the whole thing out. You can really, it's okay to cut your sweater up and um, make some changes without having, uh, without it really showing up in the finished piece. Now, if you'd like to see the finished piece and, and hear a lot more details about um, the process of making the sweater, you can watch episode 51, and I talk a lot, uh, quite a bit about the design process. So without further ado, here is my sweater surgery video. Well, I am working on um, my sweater surgery here, and it's a really awkward setup with the camera, so I hope you can um, bear with me. This is the best I can do. Um, as far as getting a good picture of what I'm doing. So I slit, I cut the first stitch. Here it is, and now I'm just unraveling the first row. Now I've already done the first sleeve. And what I was originally going to do was, um, I was going to uh, cut the bottom off and I was just going to pick up um, these these stitches here and knit. So here's the stitches. And what happened was because it's a moss stitch, it's knit one purl one for two uh, rows and then purl one knit one for two rows. Or um, it's a form of a moss stitch anyway. A moss stitch would be um, changing every other every row, but this is every other row. Anyway, um, I did pick up and start to knit, um, and I was actually going to try knitting it in the round all the, the rest of the way down, but it looked awful, and um, it, um, basically I think because of, of the seam not being perfect at that point where I cut it, this side was higher up than this side and I couldn't get them to match. It was, it was just terrible. So what I ended up doing was I, um, I re-knit the rest of this, the cuff and the rest of the sleeve. So here, here's actually, that's going to be the new cuff for this one. It's 10 rows. So I, I did do a little further up the sleeve. Um, because it, the sleeve was a little snugger than I had wanted, so I, I knit, uh, I, I'm actually cutting 
to where it's pretty much um, a comfortable um, circumference around my wrist. And um, yeah, this is where I'm going to graft it. I graphed the other side. It's not perfect, but it looks better than when I picked up and tried to knit. Just cut this because it doesn't need to be long. Um, so um, when I grafted, I tried to do uh, the proper uh, grafting technique so that the um, the pearls and the knits matched up where they should. And even though I did follow the instructions, uh, that basically it didn't line up perfect. Um, as you know, when you graft, you're lining up like uh, this is half of one stitch and half of another, this new loop. So it's not really lining up perfect. Um, that was the same problem I had when I tried to pick up a knit. It just didn't line up perfect and it looked funny. Um, but after blocking, um, it doesn't look too bad. So let me see if I can show you the other side now. Um, hold on one second. All right, so here's the other side, and it's still extremely wet. And again, I'm, I apologize for the lighting, but this is like the best setup I could get. Um, this is a new cuff, and I knit the cuff bigger. Um, I did an extra diamond pattern in the cuff to make it looser. Um, that's generally why I did not recycle the other cuffs. Um, and then I picked up and I knit 10 rows. And because the cuff was bigger, I didn't have to decrease as, uh, increase as much to match the number of stitches where I grafted it. So I only had to um, knit 10 rows in the moss stitch pattern, increasing um, 6 stitches. So I did it every fourth row. I increased two stitches um, uh, where the seam goes. I did knit it flat. Um, I was going to try knitting it in the round and grafting it um, as a circular piece, but I decided it would just look better if I just kept with what I was doing. Now, let me see. I'm going to move this so you can get a closer look. You can see where I... Um, grafted it and it's not perfect um, knit two, it's it's right here um, so you get see my knit two and then you kind of here's the pearl two and then there's these bumpies here but let's see here this is a better view um, but I think um, geez, I'm, not, I'm sorry if this is uh, getting anybody seasick um, I think you can't really tell, right? Can you tell? It is. Let me get my needle. It is right here. Um, right here. This is the, where it's grafted. Um, the, I. So that I'm very happy. Okay, so I. Finished pulling out the rest of the sleeve. Here it is. You can see I pulled out an awful lot. There's the old sleeve. That's a lot of knitting. Really, really fudged this one up bad. So anyway, this is um, essentially garbage. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to using a much smaller needle. Um, Put all these stitches on a needle. Now this, you can see, lines up really nice. So I must have done a much better job seaming this side um, than the other side. So I'll try filming as I graft it together. But like I said, this camera setup is pretty lousy, so no promises. All right, I'll be back. 